perfected the art of surviving on her own. Without the help of a pride, this lioness had to adapt. When she hunts, the combination of patience, power, and speed is spectacular. This female is about six years old when she steps into the viewfinder of Herbert Brower, a wildlife cameraman. She'd been rarely seen, and if, then only at a distance. But suddenly there she was, right in front of our eyes. Herbert is captivated by her and returns to the floodplains of Lua year after year. It comprises 3,600 square kilometers and borders Angola in the west. The bank of the Zambezi floodplain marks the eastern boundary of the park. People living here tell Herbert that the lioness has been alone for many years. They call her Lady Lua. When she rolls for him, a bond develops between them that will have far-reaching consequences. There was one thing, though, that she could not overcome, that was her isolation. It took me three years of filming on the plants though, to understand how lonely she really was. At night, she follows Herbert into his camp. He would never expose himself to wild lions on foot, but he instinctively knows that she means him no harm. It is true that female lions can survive on their own, but they only thrive as members in a pride. Is it possible to find lady a mate? And could they produce cubs and form a new pride? These are the burning questions facing Herbert and experts at African parks. Craig Reed, a manager at African Parks, and veterinarian Dr. Ian Parsons face a dilemma. Reintroducing a full pride of lions into Lua could cause havoc. If one cow was killed or one person attacked, the local population would be up in arms. If they find her a mate, she will hopefully teach him and their cubs to stay away from cattle and people. The project is even more viable if she can transfer her impressive hunting skills. It takes four years of detailed planning to get the project off the ground. Lady is now collared to keep track of her movement. The average age of a lion in the wild is 16. She has about six years to produce a litter. To find a mate for Lady, the team goes to neighboring Kafue National Park. Audio recordings of lionesses lure the males. <laughs> Wildlife vet Dr. Ian Parsons darts two males. As a coalition, they stand a better chance to survive the trauma of a translocation. The big question on everyone's mind is whether these two males will bond with Lady. If they do bond with her, she might be able to teach them how to keep a low profile and avoid the villages. The two lions wake up in an enclosure, or a boma, right in the middle of Lady's core territory. One of the males is three years old, the other a bit younger. Lady is almost eight years their senior. The age gap is intentional. Older lions might not submit to Lady's authority. Hopefully, these youngsters will. This is the first time in years that Lady has set eyes on her own kind. She keeps watch as the two males familiarize themselves with their new home. The first piece of the puzzle falls into place. But then, disaster strikes. On the fifth day in the Boma, they escape. Finding themselves in a strange environment, they could take fright and bolt. 
To Herbert's relief, he finds them a few hundred meters from the enclosure. Lady's response is odd. She rolls to show them she is not a threat, but she doesn't approach them. The males are aware they are in her territory. Everything is new. It's going to take time to adjust. Before she leaves, Lady marks the territory with her urine. It's a strong message. She's the landowner. They are the squatters. And then she leaves them. The presence of two new lions in Lua has a huge impact on the local residents. It's not only villagers that are now at risk. The arrival of the two lions jeopardizes the hyena's position of power. Together, they make a fearsome team. Only the younger of the two wears a collar, as they are almost never apart. The acid test is to see whether they will mate with Lady or leave her to seek other females. It's a precarious start, but the journey has begun. Almost three years go by without incident. It's November, the beginning of the rainy season. Thousands of wildebeest pour into Lady's territory. The males are hardly recognizable. They are now almost six years old, and their bodies are beefed up, their manes more pronounced. After all this time, they're still together and have bonded with Lady, who seems to be doing all the hunting. She targets wildebeest, almost twice her size. With a powerful bite to the neck, she suffocates her quarry. It's all over in minutes. The meat from a small calf could keep her going for a few days, but she's not hunting only for herself. As the most experienced hunter in this trio, she is happy to share her kill. The fact that she allows the males to join her and that they don't chase her off the carcass is significant. Eating together is the first building block of a pride in Angola. Of the five lions, now only three remain. Would this be enough to start a pride? No one knows for sure. Lady, when she recovers from the anesthetic, is extremely agitated. She's on the wrong side of the fence and she can't dig her way out. The young female, on the other hand, is familiar with the enclosure. This puts her in a strong position to assert power and seize authority. Clearly upset, Lady seeks refuge in a tree. Herbert thinks this elevated position is her attempt to retain control. Hunger eventually tempts her down. For Herbert, it's difficult to watch. This is a situation which I never thought would happen, is that uh, Lady would need to be put into the Burma. Now, she's been roaming free for all her life, which is probably about 13 years, 14 years, and uh, now she needs to be locked away. It's good, Lady. The tree becomes a central prop in this battle of wits between these two cats. The young female catches on very quickly. She is lighter. If height is of any consequence, she can go higher. From her elevated position, the young female spots the surviving lion. 
He is just returning from Angola, alone. It seems as if every breakthrough in this project is shadowed by a new set of problems. The two brothers formed a strong coalition. They made this territory their own and for four years managed to stay out of trouble with the villagers. The hope of establishing a new generation of lions now resides with the survivor. Lady and the young female emerged from the boma after seven weeks. The outcome of the bonding exercise is disappointing. They split up. Lady doesn't want another cat on her tail. But the time in the boma did benefit the young female. It gave her time to mature. She doesn't see the male as a threat anymore. There is an explanation for her playful behavior. She is an estrus. Lady is excluded from this courting ritual. After all the turns and twists in this complicated plot, she finds herself once more alone. After hunting alone, the young lioness returns to the male. She is ready to mate. The project is one step closer to reaching its goal. The male will sire the next generation. But what about Lady? Will she be part of this new pride? It somehow seems sad and tragic if she is now excluded. And on cue, she disappears. The male now follows the young female when she hunts. Mm. To feed both of them, she must target bigger prey. The male is not helpful. His over-eagerness spoils the hunt. Herbert is about to accept that this regent king and the young female are now the major players in this drama, when Lady suddenly reappears. The young female watches the reunion from a distance. Over many years, Herbert and Lady somehow learned to recognize and respect each other's intentions. When she looks at him now, he feels he can almost hear her asking, is this what you wanted? In the presence of the male, Lady lies down with the young female. This is what a pride looks like. After so many years, all the effort and energy that went into this project seemed to pay off. The young female frequently mates with the lion in lady's presence. Females are the cornerstone of prides. They form strong bonds and hunt together. The male's instinct is to protect them, and his drive is to breed. But a female in estrus that leads to mating is not a guarantee that this new pride is stable and secure. Hunting together is the final test, and then it happens. The young female takes the lead. Lady follows. This is certainly a new development. At the 
the outcome is swift and lethal. In all his years at Lua, this is the first time that Herbert films Lady not hunting on her own. When the male joins them, the circle is complete. The air is full of promise. Lady remains the central force and protector of this new pride. She may not give birth to the next Lion King, but she will make sure that he has a kingdom.